Welcome to one up 3 d Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we're continuing on our wood texturing tutorial. We're going to be taking the wood texture that we made last time and using it to create a wood floor texture. So we're going to open that up. Alright, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit to get it right. Ready. I'm going to go to 50% and we're going to leave this layer, we're going to delete this one and we're going to take this layer scale it to let's see want to keep the height at 800 and we'll put the width at 195 Alright, so it looks like a wood panel there. And we're going to move this over. Alright. And we're going to go and make a couple more of those. Uh, at least three or four. I'll probably do three for this just because I'm pressed on time. So. If you haven't watched the last tutorial, you're going to want to go back and watch that and repeat that process here. So you'll create a new layer and start from there. I'm going to pause it while I do this to save time. And yep, so. Alright, so I've made three of these pieces, and um, if you're doing this to have the best texture you can, I'd recommend each piece being individual but we're going to duplicate these several times so started here um, so let's turn this layer off alright we're going to put these pretty close together and duplicate them. When you duplicate them, you can go in and go to layer and transform. Flip these around a little bit just so each one looks a little bit different. Like I said, ideally you'd have um, unique pieces for each one. All right. I'm gonna make sure these are. Alright, so now we're gonna merge them down. Alright, gonna go layer, layer to image size. Gonna delete this layer. New. Alright. So we're gonna wanna dump a layer of just brown there. And a new layer. Alright. 
So we're gonna select the transparency then hit inverse. Alright. And we're gonna go to this layer. And we're gonna add a bevel at five. Probably do it a couple times. Yeah. And now we're gonna deselect by hitting Control Shift A, and we're gonna blur the black layer. flatten the image and now we will go to map make seamless uh, not turn up quite as well as we, I would have liked but it'll look just fine in blender um, so I'll we'll export it as a PNG Alright, and yet yeah, this line here that you're seeing shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's see, so we'll open that up in Blender. I'll pause it real fast to get it set up. Alright, we've got our texture into Blender. Just gotta change it to UV mapped now. And it's kind of big right now, so we'll scale that up. See how that looks. Alright, not bad. Um, I'd play around with uh, the um, the sorry the pattern. If you're making a floor, uh, as you can see, there's little looks like chunks here. Um, you'd want to actually stagger that a little bit more so they come out as being longer. Um, yeah not too bad. Um, if you're doing a floor that you have defined space I would do use a UV projection to do that and that way you won't have to make it seamless and yep so there's that tune in for the next tutorial we'll be making a wooden crate so yeah I'll see you then